Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about how I keep my hair color vibrant. So lately I have been loving the color yellow, but it does take a lot of work to kind of keep it bright. So instead of having to go into the hair salon every few weeks to get a new dye put into my hair, what I do is I do a couple home tricks to make sure I keep my hair color vibrant. So I do only see my hairstylist about every six to eight weeks just to make sure that we're keeping um, the roots touched up and putting in a little bit more bleach in the hair so then it'll lighten up the dark color so then I can put color on top. So at the hair salon, my hairstylist does put in yellow dye, but a couple of tricks that I do at home to keep the color bright is what I want to talk to you guys about today. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is this viral color wash. So this one is kind of acts a little bit more like a shampoo, although this isn't kind of like a cleaning shampoo that also deposits color. So this one, I usually wash my hair with my favorite shampoo first to make sure that you know all the oils and dirt of my hair is out. And then when my hair is after it's shampooed, I wring it out as dry as I can in the shower. And then I go in with the viral color wash. First, I usually do um, put up half of my hair first, and then I do one section with the viral, and then another section with the viral, and then I split the top in half again. So I kind of split my hair up into um, into quarters, and then that way I can feel like the, the product is as evenly distributed as possible. But this one actually foams up a ton. So you put like a quarter size in each quarter of the hair, Oh, that's a good thing to remember. A quarter size in each quarter of the hair. When it activates with the water, it really, really gets really, really foamy. So I'll show you the texture of this viral wash. It's pretty cool. So it's just kind of like... Almost like a gel. And it's really pretty but once I put it in the water in my hair it gets really 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 foamy and so you really feel like the product is getting really distributed into the hair I let that viral sit in my hair for a couple minutes before I rinse it out and then what I do after that is then I want to follow up with some sort of conditioner and so the conditioner I use I kind of double duty so not only is the viral color wash kind of like a shampoo with lot foamy that adds color into my hair. The color that I'm using is extreme yellow, but I also do a color depositing conditioner as well. So the color depositing conditioner that I use is Overtone. So Overtone in extreme yellow as well. So Overtone has kind of a cool system. They have a couple different types. So this one right here is the extreme yellow daily conditioner, but then they also have the overtone extreme yellow deep treatment as well so it really depends on how much of a refresher your hair needs so the daily conditioner is right there in the name i use it kind of every time that i'm in the shower and i do the same thing after i shampoo with my regular shampoo and then i use the I roll color wash i rinse that out wring it out as dry as i can again divide my hair into quarters and then I put like a again like another little like quarter size pile <laughs> into my hand and I work this conditioner in. So I love it so much because it does really keep my hair feeling soft and nice but it is adding color at the same time. And so they have a ton of different colors. I'll be sure to link it in the description box but they have a ton of different colors and also different ranges of that color. So for example in yellow they have extreme yellow they have neon yellow they have pastel yellow so depending on what kind of color you're going for you'll be able to choose from there and then also on their website they show you swatches of how the color goes on you know extremely bleached blonde hair all the way to you know 
you know, light brown hair. They even have colors that go really well over brown hair to give it a really nice purple or red tint or something like that. And another trick that I actually used to use before purchasing these overtone um, color depositing conditioners is my hairstylist got me to just use my, my normal conditioner, but putting in a dye and mixing it yourself. So it's kind of the same idea, using a conditioner, but then putting in some dye and then kind of like mixing it up to the color that you want and then using that in place of your normal conditioner. So again, it's another color depositing conditioner, but it's making it yourself. So depends on kind of which route that you want to go. This is Pulp Riot Semi-Permanent Color is what my hair stylist gave me. And this is in the color Yellow Lemon. So a couple different ways, but I have been using the overtone recently and I just like how kind of easy it is. I'm going to take some new pics tomorrow so I wanted to freshen up my hair. So I'm gonna go in with the Overtone Extreme Deep Treatment. So the deep treatment is really only when you want to really freshen your hair um, between the times that use the daily conditioner. So I already brushed out my hair so there's no kind of kinks in it. I'm going to divide my hair into um, a couple sections so then it's easier to distribute the product in. All right, um, oh, I should put a towel to protect me as well put on my my cape my hair cape all right I'm gonna put a cl clip to hold this thing on too <laughs> all right okay so I'm going to use disposable gloves especially you're going to want to use this in the shower I don't just because I feel like I rinse off my hands really quickly after I, I put it in my hair but since I'm going to be really working the color in um, I thought I would wear gloves to protect my hands so they don't turn yellow definitely recommend using gloves if you're going to try using overtone in a darker color definitely want to protect your hands there and you can use both of these on either wet or dry hair, but if you do it on dry hair, the color is going to have even more effect and kind of stick and soak in and really make the color even more vibrant. So I'm going to open this up and oh, super, super bright and very thick compared to this one. Using disposable gloves, apply treatment generously to wet hair for even brighter results which is what we're doing use on dry hair wait 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse clean so i'm gonna go ahead and put this all over my hair that my hair is fully saturated with the overtone color depositing conditioner. I'm going to let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes, rinse it out, and I will be back. Okay, I am back. <laughs> so I let the overtone conditioner sit in my hair about 15 minutes, and then I just rinsed it out with cold coolish water and yeah, I'm gonna brush it up. It is something really really special about it is that it's adding color in but also just kind of like a really deep conditioning treatment for your hair because my hair seriously just feels so soft after that treatment. Again um, 
apologies for all the hair in it, but this, this wet brush is amazing. <laughs> it just glides through the hair. My hairstylist and her assistant, Michaela, shout out to you ladies, um, turned me onto this brush and it's amazing. All right, I'm going to give my hair a blow dry and I will be back so we can see the hair color after it is dry. All right, I'm back. So I just did a quick little blow dry on my hair and brushed it out. My hair seriously feels so soft, you guys. And so yeah, this is how I keep my hair fresh. Hope you guys like this video. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you know when my next video comes up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!